A lot of people ask if calisthenics training is useful for athletes. They want to know if it's functional or if athletes need to get into something more complex and cutting edge. And it's a great question. And I would say this, body weight training serves the function of general physical preparedness or GPP. The idea with GPP is not that calisthenics are going to replicate a movement in your sport. It's that calisthenics can improve your fitness and then you can practice your sport to express that increased fitness in ways specific to the sport you're playing. So you don't select GPP exercises based on how well they mimic the outward appearance of your sport. You select them based on how well they drive the improvements in the general fitness qualities you're after. And this is where the basics really shine. Think about it like this. Anyone capable of doing, you know, multiple sets of 25 pull-ups and 50 push-ups, and who can do endless body weight squats and run fast and jump high, that person is going to be in great shape. This obviously doesn't mean they're going to be a great athlete or move how you know they need to move for their sport but they're going to be in great shape so when they develop those movement qualities in sport specific skills they will move well and be a physical force and you know obviously it doesn't have to be high rep stuff i just like high rep stuff but someone chinning and dipping half of their body weight for reps and doing weighted pistols and nordics and running hill sprints they're going to be a handful once they learn how to apply that fitness to their sport and even for those who want to add weightlifting into their GPP, or even if your sport is lifting, calisthenics still work great as general preparation or accessory movements. And you see this a lot with guys who start in calisthenics, but then transition to lifting. You know, they typically end up making really fast progress because of that background in body weight training. And you could see this in old time strongmen too. It seems like just about all of them practice body weight exercises along with their lifting but you still see it in elite lifters today. Like, you know, a good example is the Chinese Olympic weightlifting team. They're still doing pull-ups, push-ups, and dips despite being the best in the world at what they do, which is lifting weights. So as an athlete, there's always a tendency to want to complicate getting fit, but the basics have been building foundations of fitness since the very beginning, from ancient warriors to old-time strongmen to combat athletes past and present to track athletes, to field athletes, to strength athletes, and even modern day soldiers. So there have always been people who needed to get in amazing shape. That has never changed. And sometimes the stakes have been higher than just winning or losing a game. And there's a reason basic calisthenics have pretty much always played a role in this process. They work. They worked before we had complicated alternatives and they still work after. Of course, they aren't the only tool you need to be the best athlete you can be, but they can get you shockingly fit and pretty much anyone can benefit from that. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.